by choosing to add the Duke and Duchess of Sussex to the coronation's guest list, King Charles is showing he is a man of forgiveness, a royal commentator has claimed. Dr. Ed Owens, historian and expert on the House of Windsor, argued the monarch is offering an olive branch to Prince Harry and Meghan no matter their recent accusations and attacks against the firm, which deepened the already existing rift between them and the royal family. Dr. Owens told Express.co.uk, the king is keen to demonstrate he is a man of forgiveness, that he is ready to welcome Meghan and Harry back into the family despite the fact that, at least in his opinion, they haven't behaved well in recent months. The king wants to present himself as a figure of healing, ready to move on, looking to the future who doesn't want to dwell on past grievances. And this is significant, his answer to Harry and Meghan's complaints is essentially let's move past them, and has done so by offering an olive branch to his second son. Officials will send invites to attend the historic event at Westminster Abbey on May 6 to both Meghan and Harry, Express. Co.uk previously revealed. This move, Dr. Owens added is a deliberate attempt by Buckingham Palace to take the higher moral ground in the feud between the royal family and the Sussexes. This invite, however, should not lead to thinking the Duke and Duchess will play a significant role during the event, the historian added. He said, Buckingham Palace has deliberately sought to take the higher moral ground in inviting the couple to the ceremony but that's not to suggest they will play any significant role. It's merely about the image of trying to present a united family to the public, this is an extraordinarily carefully organized event. The California-based royals, Dr. Owens added will not have any control over the way the coronation plays out if they do decide to attend. Moreover, the expert believes, they will be minor figures at the event, given their non-senior royal status within the firm. In May, both King Charles and Queen Camilla will be crowned by the Archbishop of Canterbury in front of a much reduced crowd and the one attending the 1953 coronation of Elizabeth II. When asked in January whether, if invited, he would attend the historic event, Harry told ITV's Tom Bradby, There's a lot that can happen between now and then, but you know, the door is always open, the ball is in their court. There is a lot to be discussed and I really hope they are willing to sit down and talk about it. Prince Harry and Meghan Haven since discussed in public their intentions. Despite reports guests will only have until early April to confirm or turn down their attendance to officials. But a source said earlier last week the Duke is in a predicament over whether to travel back to Britain for the event. The insider, described as a friend, told The Telegraph the pair could be accused of snubbing the family if they don't attend. But, equally, they would also run the risk of being booed by members of the public or labeled hypocrites if they chose to return for the coronation after leveling a series of claims and criticism at the firm. They added, there are a million different variables. Anybody could understand the predicament. 